welcome to the wide world of web. I'm your host, Smithers O'Neill, and on today's episode, we're going to learn how to write internet comments. Let's take a look at an example, shall we? Right now we're on one of my favorite internet forums, where I've commented on this beautiful 3D art. I had lots to say about this one, and the people were riveted by my comment. And you can do it too. A good comment contains one or more of the following. Interesting knowledge. Details you enjoyed or did not enjoy. An emotional story. And a dash of humor, or dare I say two. Yes, my comment includes all of these examples, but for you, I'd focus on just one for now. Oh, looks like somebody already replied. Seems like Jeremiah here disagrees with my comment. In these situations, we need to respond calmly and dignified. We can reply, A, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. B, please provide reasoning so I can understand your perspective. C, you wouldn't know what art is even if it fucked you in the ass. Option C clearly has the best qualities of the three. Now Jeremiah will understand how much his opinion means to me. Jeremiah is really trying to devalue my opinion while making his sound superior. How should we proceed? A. Ignore him. B. Explain that there is no correlation between celibacy and artistic knowledge. C. Find personal information to comment on. Option C it is again. We can comment on a lot about Jeremiah just by going through his profile. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. We can see his appearance an about me section, and this cock-starved goblin girl he calls a girlfriend. I'd rather be celibate until I die than have that inbred mongoloid you call a girlfriend. When commenting to prove a point, weaponizing personal information is essential to your dominance. Bet you've never talked to a girl in real life. Okay. As you can see, Jeremiah here is desperately trying to paint me as a particular character. This calls for one thing and one thing only. Proving Jeremiah is a sexual predator. But we don't need to exactly find that information. We can create it. After hours of hard work, I present to you the blog written by the student victims of art teacher Jeremiah Adler, AKA Ass Grabber Adler. We've got plenty of stories about Jeremiah's predatory behavior, all very descriptive. And it even includes a section where they make fun of his incredibly small penis. So we'll just link that here, and voila, we've got Ask Grabber Adler bent over a barrel. <laughs> oh boy, I wish we could see the look of horror on his face right now. Oh my gosh, look at all these other comments. But uh, it does seem like there is an entirely new discussion opening up here. Huh. Well then, it looks like we've got two options here. A. Log off and go outside. B. Add your two cents to the conversation. Well, as I always say, who needs the outside world when you're inside the wide world of web? Well, it's certainly been a productive day on the web. We learned how to write a good comment. Got to know other users and spread valuable information. I'm Smithers O'Neill, and thanks for joining us on today's episode of The Wide World of Web.